everyone welcome back and this is Naveen from UI Brains. Uh, in this video we're going to discuss the inheritance concept of JavaScript classes. Okay so what is inheritance is a class which is inherited from the parent class. So we already know that what is class right. So class is actually a design of an object. Now I have an existing design and I want to create a new design based on an existing design. Okay. Suppose like I have a basic mobile design. Okay, so based on the basic mobile design, I want to uh, create a new design uh, based on its, its existing design. Okay, this is called actually a inheritance. So let's take an example on how to create inheritance concept in JavaScript. Uh, so for that, um, I'll do one thing. I just take a existing folder structure copy so 28 and let's make it here to 29 js subclasses okay um, here subclasses or inheritance mm, fine uh, let me open that here inspect console okay looks good uh, fine so here I have a plan so what is the plan is I want to take uh, a class and subclass so we call actually a parent class and child class or super class or subclass okay uh, so let's say a base class the base class or the parent class okay the parent class I'm gonna take is um, the stake person and the child class I'm gonna take is uh, employee okay so employee is inherit from the person so let's like uh, some um, I mean some properties and let's see how to create an object for all this okay see here so first of all I just take a class called person here you'll be having a constructor so let's take some properties like first name and last name and I say this dot first name is equal to first name and also this dot last name is equal to last name okay Fine. Uh, so let's make a getters for let's uh, get first name. So this returns this dodge first name. Okay. So get last name. Get last name. So it returns uh, this dot last name. Okay. So you have to. Uh, fine. Uh, let's make another function. I mean our method called greet. Okay, create. So what it does, it's the simple thing. Uh, message is equal to, um, let's say, uh, welcome, Mister. Welcome, Mister. Okay, I'll just take a name. So this dot get first name and space. Um, this dot get last name. Okay. And just make a console dot logo message. Okay. Uh, see here, we have a person class which contains only two properties, and it does uh, the getters and constructor and one uh, instance method. Okay. So now, uh, how to create an object for the person class is so let person is equal to new person, and here you have to pass some John and do it okay and let's say console dot uh, sorry 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 person dot create okay so if you call like this so you get the message welcome to mr john Doe. okay fine uh, i don't want this uh, individual person object like this i want to extend this functionality i mean the, this person having only first name and last name i want to create another class another design and which contains along with this some new properties okay new features you want to extend the functionalities of the existing class okay uh, i just take 
a class called employee and this employee is not individual class like this it is having its its behave as a child class for the parent so it having it inherits from the parent design so how to make inheritance how to make a connection between this class and the parent class is there is a keyword called extends person okay so if you write this one it means this is extended from this class okay uh, here i'll just take a constructor uh, i take first name and last name age and designation okay so i have uh, so four parameters uh, first name last name age and designation uh, now uh, the first name last name i don't want to initialize here because uh, i'm already extending from person and person already having this constructor to initialize the values called first name and last name so i have to call the parent class constructor to initialize the first name and last name so how to call a parent class constructor is there is a keyword called super keyword so super here you just pass a first name and last name so what are the first name and last name you have provided and those those two first name and last name i'm going to pass to the parent class constructor to get access and it's going to assign to the local properties of the person okay so because it's, it's already extending from the person so person already having a first name and last name so i'm just going to pass to that and that going to take and initialize okay so just make use of the existing uh, design okay along with that age and designation is extra so i just assign them in my local uh, class uh, age and then this dot uh, designation is equal to designation okay fine and i want to access them so get h so return this dot h and get designation return this dot designation okay looks good and let's create an object for an employee so how to create and which contains the four properties so let's create that so let employee is equal to new employee uh, which takes in something called john comma doi and uh, age uh, 40 and uh, manager okay fine and let's make um can i say employee dot greet see here i'm just doing employee dot greeter just see what is the answer you got welcome mr john doe and where is this age and designation thing is see here i'm just calling employee dot greeter but in this employee class uh, there is no greet method declared right so here uh, simple uh, as you discussed the uh, i mean if you can remember the last class uh, the scope concept uh, in the child uh, i mean child block if any value which you're trying to access which is not exists so what happens it go to the next level and gets that value okay if they're also not there it even go to the next level and gets the data okay same way here also parent scope child scope so child scope which doesn't have any function called greeter so what happened it automatically gets called the parent class greet function that's what happened here so you don't have a greet function here so it calling the parent class greeter where you have only the first name and last name so that's what happened here okay fine uh, i don't want to use the greet i mean the greet method of uh, person class I want to create my own because I want to extend the functionality of an existing class. So I want to create, extend the functionality. So how you extend the functionality is you can create your own greet method. Okay. So here I just write message is equal to, uh, I just say hello, um, I just say Mr. The spin the name. So this is dot get first name again we don't have get first name here so it gonna access from the parent class get first name and uh, there is dot get 
last name okay along with this uh, let's say the age um, dollar this dot age sorry get age and designation so dollar this dot designation sorry get designation function okay so let's do a console dot logo message okay so now watch here also one greet method and here also one greet method so parent class greet method child class greet method so this call actually a method overriding concept okay so existing class which having a method and i'm gonna override i'm gonna extend the functionality of existing class so this call same method which is there in a child class it's called overriding see you will get uh, here it's, it's overrides the greet method from a person and this is all called as overridden method and this is overrides the parent now we have our own copy of greeter so what happens it executes the employee specific greeter yes i got age and designation suppose if you comment out this then what happened automatically call the parent class greet method so same like uh, objects uh, and scopes concept uh, we have a parent scope and child scope same story over here okay so this how you inherit from the classes uh, let's take another class with extends which also extends from a person okay so i just create another class let's take a class um, customer okay uh, class customer extends person okay so here i going to create a constructor uh, here i'll just take again a first name and last name and age and the take location okay so one extra property i have is location so i just initialize the first name and last name with the parent so super first name and last name so this call the parent class constructor and this dot age is equal to age and this dot location is equal to location okay and you want to access them so get age so this dot age you must have to return that okay next step. so get location so return this dot location okay uh fine now. so if you want to make uh, any greet function over here as well let's copy the same and i'll just paste it only thing is i want to make it this this location okay so get location okay fine now we have a new class called customer extends from again person now let's create a object for customer so let customer is equal to new customer provide something uh, let's take lara um, <clears throat> wilson around some 28 years and uh, location is um, usa okay fine uh, so let's call it so customer dot greet let's take ms so it's just mm. static okay fine uh, so let's call it so you get hello miss lara wilson and uh, this one so this is uh, a child class called uh, customer and this is a child class called uh, employee and both are extending from the parent class called uh, person okay so this is actually a sub class concept and also method overriding concept of javascript so that's it and uh, so that's it in this video and next video we're going to start with uh, the modules concept of javascript thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel and we'll meet next video thank you mm -hmm.